In other news tonight, the Hartford Yardgoats want to help fans hit a home run with vaccinations. Hartford Healthcare is partnering with the team to get fans their dose, and they are offering some very special incentives. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson is live at Dunkin' Donuts Park with what you could be bringing home. Sharon. Hi, Aaron. Well, starting next week, Yard Goats fans will be able to come on down to Dunkin Donuts Park during a game and get vaccinated, and they'll be able to leave with some pretty cool gifts. A big part of the reason we we're able to get back to the ballpark is the, the number of fans getting vaccinations. Like baseball, it's a numbers game. Yard Goats fans who have tickets to select games in May will now be able to get vaccinated while the game is going on by appointment or by walk up. Fans who get vaccinated at Dunkin Donuts Park will get a Dunkin Donuts gift card and four tickets to a future game. This is a race to get the vaccine safely and efficiently to as many people who choose to get the vaccine within our state. With vaccine demand slowing down, Hartford Healthcare and state leaders say they want to give people another reason to get vaccinated. Although Connecticut is the first state to have 50% of adults fully vaccinated, it's still far from the herd immunity threshold. To me, the president's goal, 70% by July 4th, every single tactic of outreach is going to have to be used. And this one is at the top of the list. In Hartford, only 20% of the population is fully vaccinated. Health and state leaders say they're hoping this incentive will bring people out. They're planning to do a minimum of 100 shots per game available on May 11th, 12th, 16th, 18th, 19th, and 23rd. No barriers, no excuses. This is a way to get it while having some fun. And you do have to have a ticket to the game to get vaccinated at the ballpark. And just as a reminder, Hartford has six different sites now, including the convention center, that are now accepting walk-ups. Live in Hartford tonight, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.